the Mueller probe. Attorney General William Barr sending a summary of the special counsel's findings to Congress yesterday, noting multiple times that there was no coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia. President Trump commented on the probe's findings yesterday. After a long look, after a long investigation, after so many people have been so badly hurt, after not looking at the other side, where a lot of bad things happened, a lot of horrible things happened, a lot of very bad things happened for our country. It was just announced there was no collusion with Russia, the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. There was no collusion with Russia. Joining me right now is Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, good to see you. Good morning. Your reaction? I can't imagine what we're going to talk about today. Mm -hmm. Well, my reaction is uh, I, I'm happy at the outcome. The report, which, of course, we haven't seen, is represented by uh, Attorney General Barr as thorough and complete. The president was correct all along that there was no conspiracy, there was no coordination, translate collusion, which, of course, we know is not is not the uh, technical legal term. I am unhappy at one thing that the attorney general did. The federal rules of criminal procedure say if a person is not indicted, you are not supposed to reveal the evidence for them or against them, and you are not supposed to reveal any dispute over whether or not they should have been indicted. I think he, he intentionally or, or inadvertently uh, opened a little crack in the wall through which the de Democrats are now going to try and march a truck. Mm. So is our long national nightmare over or is another long national nightmare about to begin because the Democrats don't like the outcome from Bob Mueller right. and they want to produce a different outcome. When I say Democrats, I mean the Democrats in the House. They want to produce a different outcome via their uh, investigation. The question has to be asked, what happens now to the predators? What happens now to all of the people that peddle this nonsense for two years straight, not just the media, but really I'm talking about the investigators. Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, Andrew McCabe, Jim Comey, Bruce Orr, right. these are all the people that were in on this lie, this narrative that went on for two years when we know that there was flimsy evidence used to get a warrant to spy on somebody at the FISA court. Well, you know, Mueller's shop is closed down, and uh, Bill Barr does not need Mueller to conduct an investigation of this. The, you know, it's 90,000 employees in the Justice Department. If he wants to go there, he can do it. The question is, did they exercise ordinary reasonable discretion, or were they motivated by a political bias and a wish to d prevent Donald Trump from getting elected and then eventually uh, to depose him? That is a very difficult decision that uh, Attorney General Barr will now have to make. But I'll tell you, one person was not responsible for any of that, and that's uh, Bob Mueller. Mm. Mueller is not responsible for the Comey shenanigans. He's not responsible for what happened before he got there. Yeah. He didn't cause the phony FISA uh, documents to be presented and induce the court to issue a search warrant on, on uh, without full information yeah. uh, before it. And those who called him a, a hoax and a fraud owe him an apology. We are going to be speaking with former federal prosecutor John Ratcliffe later on in about an hour. Uh, he's going to talk about the fact that there was never a predicate here. It was just uh, one campaign framing another campaign. Hillary Clinton framing Donald Trump is basically what it was with a couple of dirty cops. You've got the other side refusing to acknowledge the truth. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer responding to A.G. Barr's summary on the Mueller report saying this, the fact that Special Counsel Mueller's report does not exonerate the president on a charge as serious as obstruction of justice demonstrates how urgent it is that the full report and underlying documentation be made public without further delay. This is an interesting story, this call to be made public, because I want to ask you something. In this judicial system, in our American system, Judge, you don't say to someone, hey, Judge, I've been investigating you for two years and we've decided no charges. But guess what? There was some phony and shady stuff you did over here with uh, insurance. And we definitely didn't like the way you put these buildings up over here. This was also shady to us. That's not the way the justice system no, works, no, where you throw out crumbs for the enemies and the other side to, to start exploiting. Well, the president no charges means no charges.
Theoretically, what, what you say is 100% correct, but we live in a world where there is unfortunately the intersection of politics and prosecution. Now, Chuck Schumer is a lawyer. I don't believe Mrs. Pelosi is. He ought to know better. Certainly, Jerry Nadler ought to know better. There are things in that report that the law prohibits uh, the attorney general from releasing. Evidence presented to a grand jury that did not result in, indi in an indictment may not be revealed. Mm. Disputes exactly. amongst prosecutors about whether or not to indict may not be revealed. Classified information may not be revealed. The, the true identities of undercover agents who testified and what they said may not be revealed. Yeah. So, you know, when you say re revealed, if you give this report, the yeah. entire report to Congress, it'll be public That's exactly in a what nanosecond. I'm That's exactly what I'm saying. Adam Schiff continues to refuse to face the music. He said he had more than circumstantial evidence two years ago of collusion that is obviously wrong and was not true. Congressman John Ratcliffe and House Intel Chairman Schiff commented on the probe yesterday. The president spoke to me about it last week. Here's what the president said on Thursday. Who is a deputy who I don't know, who I didn't know at all, and he appoints a man mm -hmm. who had just left my office. I didn't give him the job at the FBI. Comey's his best friend. No, we covered every well, Sunday. Well, wait a minute. Listen, and you know it better than anybody. You've been very fair to me in this. But think of it. I have a deputy appoints a man to write a report on me to make a determination on my presidency. People will not stand for it. Now, with all of that being said, for two years we've gone through this nonsense because there's no collusion with Russia. You know that better than anybody. Mm -hmm. And there's no obstruction. The reason we had Bob Mueller, were Americans conspiring with Russians to undermine uh, the 2016 election? And the answer to that is no. Uh, Bob Mueller, who was not limited by time or expense or by resources, apparently is concluding there was no collusion, there was no conspiracy, there were no crimes by Donald Trump or those associated with him as it related uh, to Russia and Vladimir Putin.